Icon swaps too. Let's see what we're getting. For cheap, fast, and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description. And use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. And if we are getting some decent things. So we have the 81 plus times 25 for two tokens. Bit of a letdown. Um, that was always five tokens, right? So I feel like the 85 times five was a bit better than these two. Um, but I suppose two tokens or three tokens is not terrible. Uh, we get Moments Deco for seven tokens. That's not bad. A base icon pack for eight tokens or a mid icon pack for nine tokens. Okay, so you can probably get that today. I'm assuming they released nine tokens. Prime Ashley Cole. Uh, a middle prime icon for 10 tokens. That's not terrible value. Mark Overmars uh, icon moments card for 11 tokens. A prime icon pack for 12 tokens. That's pretty good value as well, to be fair. Um, mid Blanc for 13. I would have thought that'd be prime Blanc. But fair enough. 14 tokens is a prime icon pack. That's 91 or above. It's not bad value at all either. Um, we got base Boutra for 15 tokens. Um, okay, that doesn't seem great value at all. 16 tokens for a prime or moments icon pack. And then Badjo's moments card for 17 tokens, which in game, 76 stamina, 79 shot power. It's not an ideal card. Um, I feel like my overall first impression is that it's been a bit nerfed, is my overall first impression. I've not actually looked at, at, at what you need to do to get the tokens. I think that this is a decent cam card. Three-star weak foot lets him down a little bit, but his overall stats are actually quite nice. And he's got a, a few nice traits as well. So for seven tokens, that's not bad. And I think for two and three tokens, you've got a couple of nice packs here. But I think we'll only get nine tokens as our first, or, or eight tokens as our first set. So it's not, it, it's not ideal. Uh, hopefully we get nine so we can get the mid-icon pack straight away. Uh, Ashley Cole is not bad for nine tokens. I think that's a good left back card. You can use that for the most of the year. Middle Prime. It seems like they've gone mainly for icon packs, which is fair enough because these do seem pretty decent value. To be fair, um, obviously like the the Prime or Moments icon pack is like the top tier one, so that's fair enough. Um, and I understand that. I just I think this base Boutra is very strange to me. I don't. Maybe I just don't understand FIFA in the power curve, but. To me, that doesn't seem great, if I'm being completely honest. We also have the moments icons that have been released into the game. So, we've got 97 R9, a 95 Puskas, and a 95 Cruyff, 94 Alberto, Eusebio, and Best, a 93 Beckham, that's unfortunately a right mid, I was hoping that would be a centre mid, Burkamp, Puyol, Del Piero, Stoichkov, uh, Luis Figo, Nesta, Torres, Lam at left back, uh, Rush, Drogba, Vieira, Cliver, Laudrup, Hierro at CDM as well. That's actually pretty interesting. Um, a Cam Balak, a left mid, Nedved obviously, centre mid, Skulls, Vidic, who I'm excited to have a look at as well. Um, so in terms of position changes, realistically, we have only one, if I'm not mistaken, like a significant position change. Obviously, Puskas is from a centre forward to a striker, for example. Um, we have one significant position change, and that is Hierro to CDM, which is intriguing. We're going to have a look at that. Um, I was hoping we get a few more position changes, but decent. Good good first set. Obviously, some of the bigger icons as well. So, it'd be intriguing to see what their stats are like and their price. Let's go have a look. Mm, it's, it's not a bad card for CDM. I mean, it lacks a little bit of pace, but as like a holding CDM or even like you play him centre-back in game, it's actually a pretty nice card. I think it'll work well for people that play five-backs as well because he'll be a good central CDM. He just needs more pace. Uh, I do want to have a look at Vidic as well. Because uh, this is one I'm very interested in having a look at. Because uh, I like that dynamic image a lot. Ooh, 80 pace Nemanja Vidic. Wow. Wow. That is a nice card. That is a very nice card. That might be one of the better centre-backs in the whole game. I think he'll play incredibly as well. Being six foot three, medium high. That's a nice card. I might have to pick that card up. That is very, very nice. Philip Lahm's left-back card is not bad. 89 pace, 89 dribbling, 92 defending. That, again, will be a nice card to kind of swap into a different position, potentially. Uh, maybe you play him as like a centre mid or a CDM or something. Um, I think a lot of people that play three backs will benefit from this card. Because then you can just literally put him left back, put someone like Reese James right back. And then you can play him like CDM in game and Reese James at centre back. That would probably work really, really well. Uh, but that's a nice card. Again, a very nice card. I like the, I like the stats of that a lot. It's a very nice card. Now for David Beckham's card. Um, a few nice upgrades, I feel like. Uh, his pace is a lot. A lot more manageable now, um, especially as like I think that this card would be really good as a box to box midfielder. Uh, high high work rates as well. I think he'd work really well, or even as maybe an offensive CDM. Um, 
his his shooting stats look really nice. His long shots, especially. Um, yeah, I mean, this card I think will be fantastic, especially does he have finesse shot trait? He does. This card I think will be incredible on any kind of free kick or long shot. So. That's pretty solid, if you ask me. Balak's now a cam as well, which I think the card is a bit more offensive. That's a that's an incredible card, to be fair. He'll be such an insane centre mid or, or CDM. I don't think he's much of a cam, but as a centre mid or a CDM, that's really, really nice. Um, high medium work rates might be a little bit irritating for people that want to use him in the more defensive role, but I think the card itself looks fantastic. Huskast has got 99 shooting. Uh, wow. That, wow. Um, that's an insane card as well. Um, still three-star weak foot, no upgrade on the weak foot, which I thought they might have done to make him a bit more, uh, desirable, but to be fair, it's still going to be an incredibly desirable card regardless. Uh, that card would probably play absolutely incredibly in game as well. I think the last new one that I want to look at is Davor Suka, um, who looks again, really, really nice. He's had a bit of a pace upgrade to 87 pace. This card will play really well as a striker or a cam. This is actually a card that I think I would enjoy more because I enjoy more of the taller players. And I think that he'll be fantastic. His shooting looks absolutely immense. 95 composure as well. This is a, this is a really nice card. Finesse shot and outside the boot shot traits as well. That's lovely. Um, so in total, I mean, in general, we've got some really, really nice new prime icon moments. Is the actual card available for us to have a quick look at? Uh, at all of them together? I don't think it is. So unless it just comes up under icon. No, it doesn't. Almost forgot about Torres. Wow. Wow. That's one hell of a card. That is one a hell of a card. Wow. Um, this might be one of my favorite ones, actually. What's his traits like? Finesse shot, speed dribbler, outside foot. Wow. That's phenomenal. That is a phenomenal card. So in, in general, the, the Icon Moments cards look absolutely fantastic. However, I think Swaps has been nerfed quite a lot. I think that the, the, the Icosos one was a lot better. Um, I think that this one wasn't good. In terms of what I think you should go for. So there's 18 tokens available. We've got nine now and nine, um, I think, is it March 26th? Yeah, so we get, we get nine new play tokens on March 26th. My personal opinion, if you have the patience to do so, I think that you're better off going for uh, probably a prime icon pack and the 83 plus times 25 pack. That will take you to 17 tokens. It gives you lead to, to you know, not take one token. Um, if you're rocking a road to glory and you need a cam, this deco card is not bad in my opinion. I think it's solid. If you just want to go all out packs, you have, uh, a, you know, the 83 plus times 25 was insane last time. That's definitely one of the ones you go for. And then probably the 82 plus. I would stay away from this. In, in my opinion, I just think that it's, I think this card is a little bit, I think it's going to be quite bad, in my opinion, because there's a lot of 81 pluses you can get. I think a lot of people will get non-walkouts in this kind of pack, but I think that in the 82 plus, you're probably likely to get more walkouts than at least that one. And obviously the 83 plus pack, we've already seen what they're like. Um, I'd probably stay away from Blanc. I think Ashley Cole is a good, a good bet as well for nine tokens. That's probably an end game left back for you. I'd stay away from Blanc. Butra, I'd 100% stay away from. Overmars is decent. Uh, unfortunately, three-star skill moves, though. So if you don't mind skill moves, it's a good left mid card. Will probably work pretty well um, as a really wide sort of cam as well. But three-star uh, skill moves lets him down a lot. Prime Marker Pack for 12 tokens, though, I think is, is definitely a really, really good shout. Um, and if you want to grind all your tokens, I would probably say the... 91 plus prime might be a little bit better than the primal prime moments pack but i think that if you're just the gambling type this is a really good send so that's my personal take when it comes to um the new icon swaps i think stay away stay clear from baggio whilst the card looks really really good and you know he's got a lot of flair for example and he's, you know five star skills four star weak foot on the side, it looks really good. You're going to suffer a lot from the stamina, and you're also going to suffer a lot from the shot power as well. It's one thing that puts me off a lot of cards like this, is that a lot of keepers make really good saves when there, there typically isn't a lot of shot power on the card. The keeper just gets to the ball. It really is frustrating. Um, so I would probably stay a bit clearer of this card. Um, I'd so, And I'd also say that with Boutra... This card is so behind the power curve, in my opinion. It's simply not worth going for this card this late on. If this was a, if this was Prime Butra, then fair enough. But base Butra for 15 tokens in in February, almost March, is poor for me, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, to summarize, too long, didn't read. I'd say Prime or Prime Moments Pack, definitely a good shout. I think Prime Icon Pack is your best bet. 
Uh, although, if you want to go for, if you know, if you're impatient like me, what I'm personally going to go for is the mid icon pack for nine tokens today. And then I'm going to do, with my remaining nine tokens, likely I'm going to do um, probably the 83 plus times 25 and the 82 plus times 25. And hopefully when they when the new tokens come out, um, we'll, ha we'll have potentially a new promo for these packs that will pay out big time as well, which would be really good. You know, if we get a big promo, say, you know, March 26th. So potentially we could have for birthday, carnival, something like that. Um, I think these packs will be really good for packing the um, promo cards of that new promo. So yeah, uh, in total, it's not terrible. Um, I, I, and, you know, I'm, I'm actually quite a big fan of this deco card as well, being only seven tokens. Uh, I just wish that, I wish that EA would give more like this deco in icon swaps like we could have had four more icons in this i feel like i think it's a bit of a letdown in terms of icon swaps it's definitely obvious that ea don't want to give out icons for free that are of a, a good enough level to stop you wanting to spend five points to get new cards in the game it, like it's very clear and it's also very clear they're driving you towards doing packs i think what they want is they want you to uh, like get that drive to open more packs and to, to get that hunger to open more packs and it's very clear um so it's, it's, I'd probably say it's Icon Swaps 1.5 as opposed to Icon Swaps 2. Uh, but overall, for, for grinds, at least it's something to do at the end of the day. And at least we've got something to do to, to sort of do objectives and stuff. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, thank you all for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys aren't around here. And I'll see you later.